We are finally here, guys. We are finally at the last bit of the Transformers Japanese franchise. And before I get down to it, I want to mention I am not going to get into the other ones that they did after this one. Like Star Convoy or Operation Combination. I am not doing those ones because there was no TV show. Here is what was the last bit of the, of the Transformers Japanese franchise from 1990. And it was a very, very short-lived and... It was very, very, very underrated. It was called Transformers Zone. Transformers Zone. Uh, it had a. It was a fran franchise that featured the following primary components. It had. It had a toy line. It had a one chapter of Magnet telling the same story as the one episode that appeared on television, and a series of story pages published in TV magazine. What we're mainly going to be focusing on is the episode that they premiered. Unfortunately, it was only one episode, and it was sadly the last episode to enter into the Japanese series. And it became known that the Japanese series ended. So let's end, so let's end this beautiful series with this episode and see what was all about this episode was about. So it says that here is basically the primary plot of this episode. When nine of the most powerful Decepticons are gathered together under the rule of Violent Gagger, Autobot Power Masters Dia Atlas must step forward to prevent them from acquiring the power of the mis mystical Zodiac. So let's see let's see what the story is basically about. Seeking to conquer the universe, the mysterious demonic Violent Gagger gathers together the Decepticons Devastator, Minosaur, Bruticus, Trypticon, Freddy King, Abominus, King Poseidon, Overlord, and Black Azarek as his nine great demon generals. That is an awesome pair. That is an awesome pair of Decepticons. That's like the ultimate pair. It was that was awesome. To remove the threat the Autobots pose to to remove the threat the Autobots pose to his goal, he has the generals to devastate the planet Femia. Drawing the attention of Autobot Supreme Commander Victory Saber and his troops, who arrived to save the planet, you know, to arrive to save the planet, Victory Saber saves the life of a young boy named Kang, but is unable to escape the planet's destruction himself and is left missing in action when the planet explodes. When the plan when the Autobots, when the Autobots basically are basically, uh, you know, in a whoops, I almost dropped my tablet. When the Autobots are basically in a in the point where they're they're scrambled with when they found out about the loss of Victory Saber, Violent Gagger charges his generals with obtaining the Autobots new energy source, Energy Energon Z and the Zodiac. An energy source responsible for the creation of the universe, which is he intends to fuse together to create the super energy that will fuel his dreams of conquest. Meanwhile, I'm going to skip a little bit further. Back on, Z when they're on the planet Zone, the planet Zone, you know, aka, you know, Transform Zone, the rescue patrol team cleans up the Power Masters, Dialis and Sonic Boomer, return from their, return from their search for Victory Saber, bringing the wounded commander back safely. The two Power Masters briefly watch over Victory Saber in, in the infirmary, then set out for Earth. The Autobots, you know, they eventually save the day, and, you know, they eventually get the Energon Z and all that. The Autobots, Chain and, and Akari, then discuss the nature of the Zodiac amongst themselves. When Akari revealed that he learned about the existence of Zodiac from his father, but he wants to know more about space and the Transformers. You know, they want to learn about Earth, and they all agree to teach each other about their respective subjects. Returning to Planet Zone, Victory Saber appoints Dia Atlas as the new Supreme Commander of the Autobots. And that's it. That's the episode. And I feel very sad because this should have been... This could have led to a, brand, a great series. This could have been a, a very, very great series. And would have made a lot of... Would have introduced us to a lot of brand new characters and some older characters. And we're going to introduce us to a brand new toy line and a brand new series. But unfortunately, it only lasted for one episode. 
and and that is how the and that is how Transformers Zone ends, as Daya Atlas is the new Supreme Commander of the Autobots. This is the end of the Japanese Transformers franchise. We had Headmasters, well, essentially we had Generation 1, the Headmasters, Super God Master Force, Victory, and the one episode, Transformers Zone. This is the end of the original Transformers Japanese franchise. And now that we have all that out of the way, we have covered so far Generation 1, we've covered the Japanese series, what else is there to cover? Um, unfortunately, during Generation 2, the series started to fall apart. A lot of people started to lose hope for the Transformers franchise, and with Generation 2, the franchise started to die, and the franchise started to go downhill. But frankly, during the 90s, there was a huge revival in the, ser in the series, and it became one of the greatest Transformers shows of all time.